Hello. I've been wanting to make this video for a while to discuss tactile transducers for use by drummers to go along with your in-ear monitoring system to, to get more of a three-dimensional effect. Uh, I've been interested in this technology for like 17 years and back then and probably even now you can't go into a store and try these things so I had to buy stuff, experiment and uh, the first thing I came up with or that I purchased was the 2 ohm butt kicker concert model which is a 15 in it, uh, 15 pound unit uh, that the pros use, the touring pros, they have roadies and it was a large mass that hung off the back of the seat that was too much for my needs way too heavy to carry around so butt kicker re released the advance which is a 4 ohm model uh, 75 watt minimum and uh, I wound up doesn't have much of a, a good way to mount the thing so I used lag bolts into the bottom of my rock and sock and have used it that way for for quite some time and then sometime later Pearl released their throne thumper which is based on the butt kicker chassis uh, same same specs big difference being the handy mounting uh, system that they you know built onto this thing uh, so I have it uh, mounted here on a tripod very easy mounting uh, I've always used for for the signal source a trigger of some sort uh, you could use these uh, any kind of trigger these cheap uh, you know these things that you might adhere to the drum head and uh, this is an old R, uh, Roland RT7K that I used for quite some time, uh, just to clamps onto the hoop. And uh, currently I've got this uh, unit by Convertible Percussions, you can see there, the little cone. It's a single zone trigger, that uh, about $40 piece from eBay that mounts uh, in the interior there. And I've got a video, video on that if you want to watch that. And I've always used... You know, of course, triggers with a module of some sort. I used to have an Alesis DM5 that I had in this rack here. Uh, the key is to get a nice short note, a punchy note, uh, with because you don't want resonance, because these things will resonate. They'll pick up all that extra vibrations, and then it's kind of a confusing mess. So, you know, if you're going to use a microphone s signal, I think I may have tried that a long time ago, and I was trying to, like, use gates and stuff to to really cut that signal off. Uh, nowadays, uh, I picked up this Roland TD30 here. Uh, it's a great module in many ways, uh, but I've used the TD3 and the 6 with these here, uh, with these with the triggers, and had great results with these transducers here. So what I'm going to do is show you some photos to talk a little bit more about the features and then we'll get into some short video demonstrations to try to show you uh, the energy that these things um, can deliver, the vibrations. Uh, we'll try to demonstrate that with a glass of water on the seat cushion and, uh, and hope you enjoy the video and learn something. Here's the Pearl marketing photo of the unit and here it is mounted to the lower part of my throne. Uh, this mount is the best feature of the Throne Thumper. Here's another shot of it uh, wired up. Here is the Butt Kicker Advance lag bolted to the bottom of my uh, rock and sock cushion. Uh, you can see it lacks the uh, handy mounting mechanism of the Throne Thumper. And here's a shot of it, you know, with, mounted on the uh, on the tripod. For signal power, I use this Behringer iNuke NU1000 in bridge mode, which provides 1,000 watts of power. Uh, here's a look at the back here of the settings on bridge and crossover on low. These units require 75 minimum, 400 watts max. Here's a look at my speak on connector, connector and 12 gauge uh, wire. Here's a coupling that I use since I use a short lead off of the butt kicker and then tuck the rest of the cable into the uh, the amp case and uh, I'm coming out of the uh, master left on the uh, TD30 and I can easily control the volume with the master volume knob on the module okay here we go with our first test we're going to do the Pearl Throne Thumper first uh, you can see it's uh, 
mounted here on the lower part of the tripod of a hydraulic throne. Um, I wonder if this has, you know, the fact uh, that it's not a screw threaded type uh, as in this model over here. Is there any loss of energy? Uh, um, well, we'll find out. Okay, so uh, we've got our glass of water here. Our uh, module here, we've got uh, our master uh, three quarters here, and our Behringer Nuke here, iNuke uh, model here. These knobs are two clicks less than max. So let's just see the meters first. significant and we're back here with the butt kicker advance mounted on the threadable threaded style throne and uh, same settings for everything got our glass of water here right on the emblem now let's take a look at it and see what we got see if she scoots away or not moving all right yep same settings let's look at the meters just in case look how far that thing scooted all right i try to demonstrate that these devices output some noticeable energy to me it's a case of you don't know what you're missing until you use it for a few songs and you turn it off. Definitely noticeable. If you're just using in-ears with sound, this definitely adds a third dimension. And when I got into this, my goal was to compile an effective system with minimal complications for a weekend drummer like me. It's lightweight, easy to manage on gigs, and half the price of uh, that uh, Porter and Davy system if you buy pre-owned stuff. Um, personally, I was tired of dealing with lame drum monitoring situations when I walked into different places, some larger clubs, so I, I built my own. Um, I'll note that the Pearl Throne Thumper is discontinued, but if you happen to see one, a pre-owned unit, and you're interested in this, I would, I would definitely buy it because of that mounting bracket that it's got. And uh, now I'm motivated to try and uh, explore alternative methods of mounting the Butt Kicker Advance which has worked so well for me. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, enter questions, comments, suggestions below in the comment area. Subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.